Oh man, not again. I got an appointment to get my hair done. I'm never gonna make it now. Damn. What's going on, man? Oh man, I'm stressed out. You know what, the car won't start and I have a feeling what it is. The other day I was putting this new battery in my car and the negative terminal had this very loose connection and I didn't think it'd be a problem, but uh, my car won't start now. So I almost guarantee you it's that uh, negative terminal that's too loose. I'm trying to fully tighten the terminal and it's fully tightened, but the terminal kind of spins around like it's loose and I've thought of ways to get it tighter and honestly, I just can't think of any. Okay, let's pop the hood, buddy. Okay, man, where's this battery of yours? Right here, my friend. So I changed my battery the other day, and one thing I noticed as I was tightening the negative terminal, as tight as it could possibly go, check this out. It did this. And I thought, you know, maybe it would be a problem, maybe it wouldn't be, and uh, sure enough, of course it became a problem. It's just not tight, and it's fully tightened. So no matter how much you tighten it, it's already maxed out tight. I see what's going on here. Okay, so I got good news for you, buddy. There is a product out there called Battery Shims, and I happen to have some in my pocket. I don't even know where it came from. Check these out, guys. Right here, this is what they look like. Just like that. And what these basically do is, we're gonna put one of these on top of the battery terminal, and what it's gonna do, guys, it's gonna make the battery terminal bigger so that way, when we uh, go to tighten that terminal, it's going to work again. Let's install this right now. Okay, so what we have Mr. Ryan doing here right now is he is just loosening the negative terminal, which is the one that has the issue. Um, you just have to be careful if your positive terminal, for example, is the loose one. When you're untightening it, you just got to make sure the wrench doesn't touch the body of the car because the whole entire car is negative and the positive positive so you don't want to short anything out but he's got that off so now got some 80 grit sandpaper and he's just gonna give this a light sand here to make a nice good connection yeah just like that so here it is see how nicely sanded that is um if you had corrosion in there yeah you just clean that a little bit too you want to get a good good connection you guys and then all we're gonna do guys is we're gonna take some dielectric grease, which is like a grease for preventing corrosion from happening. You can buy it anywhere. It's called dielectric grease. And put a little dab on my finger here. Yeah. Yeah, and he's gonna smear it. Put your finger around. Tom just to light him out. You don't yeah, want to just to light him out around. Not too much, not not too little, but uh just, just right enough. Out. Okay, you now maybe put some on this too. Perfect. Okay, let's try these. Uh, got these at uh, Canadian Tire, Motormaster brand, very good brand for things like this. Three dollars. You can get them on Amazon. You can get them at Canadian Tire, Napa. Three ninety nine actually, but uh, perfect. Close. All right. So you just watch this. So you put that on, and it makes it bigger. Get it? Just like that. So now when he puts the terminal on. It's gonna open back up. Uh, we might have to open it up with uh, a pair of pliers or something. Okay, we're gonna go get some tools here. Okay, so now we got this cap on here, but the problem is this won't fit over the cap because it's too small. So we loosen the bolt. Now we're gonna take two screwdrivers like this and I'm gonna open this up. You guys ready? Watch this. See, we're opening up the battery terminal to make it bigger so that's what happens these terminals stretch out and then they get maxed out see look at that ah! okay guys um to be honest with you it was hard to get it on because honestly i feel like this shim was a little bit too big but anyways we, i opened it up a lot we got it on so now all you do is uh tighten this up you don't go too crazy but you want it tight so you can't spin it and um, guess what? You're back in action. Okay guys, look at that. No matter how hard I push, I cannot spin it. That will definitely fix it, guys. 
Okay guys, so that is what it looks like. Uh, we're gonna get Ryan to turn the key and see if she starts right up or not. Yeah! Oh, that feels great. Looks like I'm gonna make my hair appointment after all. <laughs> 